The history of the Comanche Crossing live steamers goes back to Uric Locomotive Works, which started building small steam locomotives and trains in 1943. Several locomotives were and are still being built by this firm in Strasburg, Colorado, located about 35 miles east of Denver on Interstate 70. However, the main interest now is building replacement parts for existing tourist line railroads such as the Durango and Silverton Railroad, stationary steam equipment, traction steam equipment, foundry castings, general machine work, dog track racing equipment, and trolley car parts. This photo is a rather recent addition to uh, the Eric line. It's a uh, completely overhauled locomotive called uh, Number One on the Comanche Crossing and Eastern Railroad. That's their private line uh, located about two miles east of Strasburg. In 1980, the Eurex and their in-laws, the Thanes, along with several other interested people, started surveying and grading for a new 15-inch gauge railroad on the Thane property. The goal was and is to build this railroad parallel to the UP Railroad on the north side of their right-of-way. In 1976, the Uric firm built a very fine 4-inch to the foot scale K27 locomotive, which was sold to Guy Stillman in Scottsdale, Arizona, who ran it for only two years. Guy Stillman was the founder of the Parrot Ice and Pacific Railroad in Scottsdale. For personal reasons, Mr. Stillman asked the Uric firm to store this locomotive after two years until 1980, at which time Marlon Uric talked the man into donating the locomotive to the newly formed Strasburg Recreation District. These photos were shot in August of 1988. The K-27 now mostly sees operation on the Comanche Crossing and Eastern Railroad, the private railroad on Thane property east of Strasburg. This is a diesel locomotive the Eurex built for uh, use on their own line out on the Thane property. It's used mostly in work train service. This is a photo of Marlon Urich standing next to the diesel, freshly repainted, after it was leased to Tiny Town for its first year of operation. 
Tiny Town is, is an amusement park southwest of Denver, about 25 miles. Here's the builder's plate on the diesel. It was built in 1975. This is a picture of Comanche Crossing in Eastern Number 1 in service at Tiny Town, Colorado. This locomotive saw service at Tiny Town while the Uricks were overhauling one of Tiny Town's locomotives. Here's a work train on the Comanche Crossing in Eastern in September of 1992. The K-27 was also being steamed up that day for a trial run over a new trestle which the Yorks had just completed. Looking west on the line from this siding, the track in the distance towards the upper left of the photo is on a four and a quarter percent grade. Down toward the lower end of the line, the K-27 is back down to the bridge approach of the new bridge. The track comes downgrade and crosses the bridge on a curve and then uh, curves the opposite direction around a large loop. We'll go through a tunnel which is under construction and back underneath of this bridge to the right where eventually a roundhouse and turntable location will be uh, located. Yours truly, Ken Shear, had the distinct pleasure of being the guinea pig to uh, first try the heavy K-27 across the bridge. Blowing down the boiler a bit. The work trains at the end of track in uh, September of 1992. Since then the track has been extended and uh, 
lot of the tunnel work has been done. It's, it's almost completely dug out and almost ready to line. After the sale of a larger diesel switcher in 1994, the Eurex felt a need for a, an additional switch engine of an internal combustion style for use on the Comanche Crossing in Eastern. So in 1995, they built this little locomotive. It's a gas hydraulic. Also in 1994 and 1995, Rob Thane, Marlon's brother-in-law, on whose property the uh, Comanche Crossing and Eastern Track is located, um, built a 15-inch gauge Denver and Intermountain electric motor. This locomotive is uh, operated both with uh, battery banks or uh, Rob also has a short stretch of uh, overhead catenary in service. It's quite a locomotive. He completed this in uh, early 1996, actually, I guess. Here's some of the wild and woolly rolling stock on the wild and woolly Comanche Crossing in Eastern. <laughs> 